of resin came in today from the epoxy resin store. I have four cases. I'm so excited. And jugs of the, look at this, new label epoxy resin store. Getting their shit together. Getting all fancy on me. Wow. Check that out, guys. There you go. And this is the other bottle. Oh, so, there's paper here. And we got four gallons of this. And I got four cases of four gallons. I'm so excited. Yeah, boy. Hey guys, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today I am in my garage with my little granddaughter who's running around behind me. Okay. Um, I'm about to do a painting and I can't wait to show you what it looks like. <laughs> She's so cute. And she loves doing resin with me. So I'm excited to show you guys what we got going on. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, I got a new package in the mail today. And I have these new mica powders that I'm very excited about. And it is a new company. But wait till you see the pigments. What color you got? Blue. Blue. My granddaughter's helping me today. Okay, so we got two boxes of them. Oh, these are pretty colors too. Yep. Ooh, that's really pretty. Whoa, look at that one. Tiger orange, that's really pretty. Whoa. That's really glittery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a lot of pigments, a lot of colors, and we're gonna pick them up and show you. Oh, that's really pretty. What's, what is this? Turquoise, should I should have known. What's that? What's it called? Gold. Gold, whoa. whoa. Show them slow so they can see what it looks like. That's really pretty and glittery. Yeah, what's this? Pearl, Pearl white. white. Then this Ooh, one purple. is purple heart. That's really pretty. Really pretty purple. The parakeet green. Parakeet? Mine's blue iris. Oh, that's like, yeah, that's pretty. This is, this looks like magenta. Is it a deep pink? Same thing. And this looks like a, this lilac, it reminds me of an Easter egg. <laughs> like it, it reminds me of lavender. Yeah. This one's copper. So it, oh, pretty. Very pretty. I like that one. So far, that's um, one of my favorites. Is this a, I don't have glasses on. I can see. Wait, what is he? I don't know. I can't, that one I can't read. Fandango pink. I think this one says Scarlet. I can't, you know what? I gotta get glasses. Here, let me see. Does it, it says, yes, yeah, so Scarlet. Scarlet. Okay. And then. You sh I should just give them to you to read. French I Rose. I can't even see that. Oh, French Rose is pretty. Burgundy. Burgundy. Ooh. What's that one? Okay, this one is Silver Ash. Oh, pretty. And then last one is Creamy Pink. Oh, I like creamy pink. Okay. Okay. All right, All so pigments, we then, are definitely going to. It also comes with a mini spoon. Oh, I like this spoon. That is so perfect. That is so perfect. Just scoop it out, put it into your cup. Look. All right, we're going to pick some colors out. He sent me two packages. We're not going to open that one up yet, Dre, so we're going to put that one away. Yeah, for we're going to keep it. Because so it's the same colors. Keep it uh, perfect so we need so, them. We're all out of I know. Everybody keeps their pigments a certain way, but when I put my pigments on the shelf, this is how I do it. That way, I can you just can pick the, I can see what color they are, and I can pick the pigment out that I like the best. And that's how I do all my pigments on the shelf. And I have lots of shelves with lots of pigments. These are, so, that orange is just popping. We gotta do something with this, this orange. One. Okay, so let's pick this. And then we have our and this. I had a, a viewer who wanted red, white, and blue. I think his name was Bob. Red, orange, and white. No, let's do red, white, and blue for Bob because I okay. promised Bob. So, red, white, and then what color blue? Show me the other fit. Uh, this one? 
Yes. Red, white, and blue. Those ones. Are All right, we'll do that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I picked out the red, white, and blue for a painting that I'm going to do for one of the YouTubers named Bob. And uh, we're going to see how this painting works out. I'm just using one little spoonful in a cup of resin. And Andrea, my granddaughter, she picked out this beautiful orange, this tiger orange from Rolio. And uh, we're going to see how that looks. We're going to actually cast that in one of the molds because Andrea wanted to do the molds. So she's picking out the orange and she's going to put a little bit of transparent yellow from a different company. And that is from uh, Resin Obsession in with that orange. So it's not too opaque. And she's also going to do a skull too. She has a Buddha mold, a skull mold, and um, a crystal mold that she's making. And I'm going to do the red, white, and blue painting. So here she's just going to pour that tiger orange on the outside of this mold. She's trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> she's so cute. And we're also going to put a little bit of transparent yellow into this one also with a little bit of clear resin. So the, um, that big red cup there, that's clear resin that we're pouring in there. I'm just helping her along a little bit, trying to fill it in a little bit more. She usually does all the work, but today I kind of took over. And now we're just going to pour some clear resin into the, uh, what is this, the Buddha mold. I'm pouring the rest of the clear resin that I have in this big cup into this mold. She's going to pour, she poured a little bit of the tiger orange, a little bit of the yellow, and we're going to finish it off. Here's the blue that I have mixed up. The white, which I really like this white a lot. And I did mix up some red. Which I'm going to show you in a minute. Here's the colors, the red, white, and blue from Rolio. And I will be doing this on a regular canvas. I did not prep it. I did not use anything on the canvas. It's just a regular white canvas. I usually do not ever use canvas, but since it's a small um, canvas, I thought I'd try it. I usually use MDF board because the canvas tends to sag in the center, but since it's such a small canvas, I figured I would try it. So now I'm just gonna pour my colors onto the canvas and see what we can get. Now Bob's problem was, when he left me a comment was, that whenever he uses red, white, and blue together, it tends to mud out. So I'm hoping I don't have that problem when I do this painting, but we'll find out.
Now my granddaughter is controlling the camera, guys. So sorry if it's all over the place, but she is trying really hard. And we wanted to show you close up. Whenever I do a painting, I like to use my heat gun as if it's my paintbrush. So I love to blend all the colors into each other. I like the movement. I like seeing like the flow of the pigments. And we're gonna see what we get with these new mica powders. I think it needs a little bit more red on top. So I'm gonna use the rest of the red that's in the cup and pour that on there. Just to give it a little bit more pop. Like I said, my granddaughter's in control of the camera, guys, sorry. I am just finishing up this painting right now. I'm blowing this red out. It did tend to mud up just a little bit right there but I'm getting this weird texture coming through. So let's see what it looks like in a little bit. I'm in love with these new mica powders. They tend to almost separate themselves from each other, which gives it this really unique look. I absolutely love the way the texture came about. And I don't know, I just love this painting. I think it's really cool. So I'm really happy with these mica pigments. I'll leave the link below and there is a 5% discount code for you guys if you wanna order anything. I just think they're incredible. Oh my gosh. Well, Bob, I hope you like this painting. This is for you. I'm gonna try out more of their other colors cause I'm super happy. I just love this texture. I just think it's so unique. Thank you, Rolio, for the pigments. Wow, very surprising. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications on my next video. I am about to unmold some stuff that me and my granddaughter did, like the... Uh, the Buddha, the crystal, and the skull. And we're going to see what they look like. Later. It's just so pretty. I love it. Okay, so here is one of the molds. Now we did use the tiger's eye from Rolio, but we used also a little bit of resin obsession with it. So it's not gonna be so opaque. Ugh. Wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty unique, huh? Look at that. So pretty. This mold I got from Lee Crunch Creations. That's the name of the company. Her name is Denise. I'll put her information below. This is the, oh my gosh, the Buddha. Where is the skull? Let's do the skull. Now we used yellow and orange for this too, but we used um, Resin Obsession orange, I mean yellow. 
with the tiger's eye orange. Oh my gosh, we probably should have just did it all, all tiger's eye orange because this is, I mean, all tiger's orange. Oh wow, look at that. That's what we were going for. We were going for that little bit of marbleization with the two different pigments. And we got it. So cool. Look at that color. Look how it looks almost like marble. Isn't that cool? I got this mold from Lee Crunch Creations also. I'm going to save the Buddha for when she gets home from school today. Because I got to go pick her up. And I'll have this on my next video. So I don't want her getting mad at me for doing all, releasing all the things.